not be responsible if you wreck your device. And the camera and themes are working just if you are curious, the S Pen is also working. And what's not working is discussed in the video. Enjoy. Hi, how's it going? This is Hassan here from Edge Chicken. Today, I'm bringing you a brand new review of the CM13 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you can see, I'm not kidding. Oh, my bad. About tablet. And which is point 0.1. Can't see that. There. Focus. Yeah. 6.0.1. CM13. The January release. I didn't show you the first two releases because they were trash. They didn't work at all. So I thought that I didn't need to uh, give you guys the wrong bills. Like the bills that would harm your device. So I took the harm to myself, obviously. I had to recover the device so but this build is perfectly stable aside from a few glitches so let's get right into it so first of all this is marshmallow and I went into the settings and show you the like easter egg it is indeed marshmallow and so now you might be asking about the marshmallow features so these are the distinctive features that, you, that because of which you should consider putting this ROM on your Note 8.0 and yeah this is available for the Wi-Fi version and I think the 3G and the LC version like N5100 N5110 uh, which I've got right over here and uh, N5120 I'm not pretty sure about 120 though but uh, just check the link down in the description below and to, for the tutorial this is same as the CM12 there are no extra steps so that will be linked down in the description too so just check it out over there and uh, yeah so first of all you need to enable root obviously for that you go into about tablet and you tap the, the bill number uh, until it says that development settings have been enabled and then go to developer options and go to root and give access to apps and ADB or apps or ADB it's up to you but I recommend both so you'll have no problems and there is another pretty great feature over here that I can show you that is multi window mode it's on right now so basically I tap over here I choose my layout you can have four simultaneous uh, simultaneous apps as you can see on the bottom I have the settings and on top I have my Facebook so that works even in landscape position and uh, let's get on with the marsh other marshmallow features so the first is doze mode when your device is totally idle it's not moving at all you're not using it at all the marshmallow will shut down features <clears throat> to save you some battery life so when it's just sitting around it won't lose any battery life like it was sitting around for uh, about an hour and a half and the battery was at 80 percent and just check it's at 78 percent uh, focus please you see there so it's at 78 percent so that's pretty cool and other than that you might be wondering does YouTube work yes it does work and there are no glitches but I don't know if I can demonstrate the glitch because it's very rare but sometimes your screen blinks to just solve that you just ex exit the app and enter it again that is very rare that's why if I there is a little a tiny bit of chance that I, you will see it in this video so uh, the other feature as you may know is now on tap so to enable now on tap go in Google now settings and voice and enable now on tap then go to your settings and uh, go to buttons and set the double press 
uh, double tap uh, action to be the voice search and the long press to be the search assistant. Now when something is being displayed on the screen, for example this, you just long press and Google now, as you saw, as you see, this rare glitch. To exit that, you just exit it. And now as you can see, it's perfectly stable. That was the only glitch. So it gave me all the information about New Zealand. As you can see, it gave me the information about what's on the screen. I can choose these links and it pretty much works like that on every screen but on some screens for example the home screen again the glitch it's very rare it's very rare I don't know why it's showing up this much but it doesn't happen much yeah there you go so it will say nothing on tap because obviously there's nothing on your home screen that it can read and uh, these are basically the major marshmallow features you're getting a lot better battery life in my opinion we're getting about four and a half hours of screen on time instead of the normal four that you'll get and uh, this is pretty much it and again the installation process is the same as the cm12.1 link to the tutorial down in the description below and a viewer requested me to make a tutorial on how to root and how to install TWR pre recovery so that video is up next but this uh, has been it guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace